Alright, so hey guys, welcome to part 6 of uh, Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice and right now we're just going through the um, like shard sections to try and... I believe we're doing it to rebuild our... Um, to rebuild the sword that's there. Uh, so we're just going around the different um, blue shards and uh, doing the, the trials. So the last one was uh, Labyrinth, so it was like a big maze, you had to work your way through it. And uh, I guess now it's time to see what this one's going to be. Alright, we've got the Dillion light again. I think this is another one of them bridges we have to push over. And a big cool mask thing with a symbol on it, so maybe the symbols will you want to see come into play. No, she doesn't. Don't look through it. Alright, so I guess we'll interact with it. Focus, oh, focus, yeah. Where are we? What is this? It's the same. Well, they're accurate. It's the same but different. It's lighter and nicer. That's true. So I guess it's like two different, like alternate realities or something. Let's cross it. Or maybe it's just day to night. Maybe it's just like nice compared to to shitty. The so, Northmen tell two, this story three, four, about five, the death six, of Baldur. Six in this area. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night. Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness, and swear and hope. Okay, so, it seems like it might be that kind of thing where it wants us to change it to the past and that way it'll open up things that weren't there before. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and change it back to the, sh the shitty version, like the dark one, and see if that helps and then... Oh, okay, so look, it's moved over here as well, so that must mean something, maybe. And that gate is open on the on the right now. That one before. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's so obviously, it's, okay. So it's basically like the portal thing again, but it's got masks instead of just walking around the uh, thing. So that's that's all right. Dillian, there he is. Where? Oh, there he is. And then this will remove the tree. I'm guessing. Yeah, there you go. He's not here. She's in the room. He's in the wrong world, he's in the he's dark in the world. world. He's in the other world, he's in the dark world. Okay. Why, okay, so, why do we need to open that gate, but maybe it'll be different. Black and white. Um. Darkness and light. Oh. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. Senno explored new paths into the unknown. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. 
Oh dear. So I feel like it's something to do with that kind of window thing, because like we've got it here. And then the symbols were well, in a way they, that nobody else did. They show here. So He didn't believe that she was cursed. He saved you. Is that it? Everyone no. else turned their backs. As far as I can see, there's not another face to try and help us. Oh, okay, there's a door. Okay, so this is like the underside of the bridge. Okay, that's cool. Alright, so we'll go back over here and open this door. Face is out there, so if we change it, we can go back in this way. In there, okay, okay, and see if that does anything. He cared in I a way that nobody kind else of, did. I know what I mean in my head. I don't know if I can. I don't think I'm exactly um, conveying it very well, but yeah. So go through here. Use the mask again. By going round this way, because that door will be open now. It should be. Yeah, I feel like this one's going to take longer than the labyrinth one did. Oh, the door's not there anymore. Maybe it's meant to be daytime. All right, I'll make it day and then go back in and try and um, go to that area where the the red letters come up and see if that does anything. I'm telling you, portal stuff is not my Dillian saved you from them. strong suit. The game pool is easier than these freaking. So I thought it was gonna be something to do with the window. I thought the window would be fixed, but it's not. Joe would be cool though. If oh, the shadow is that it? I was gonna say it would be cool if there was like a mirror, and then you had to look in the mirror at the window, and then that was it. Is okay, 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 okay. That that's cool. I like that. You got it. He was the only one she could try as to hear. Could she trust him? So, He's gone. Okay, He's so now I need to go world. out. He's gone and the then change world. it back. In the wrong world. He's in and the then run through and go in the front door. Without you. Okay. No, I'm happy with that now that I worked out how to do it. That one was pretty cool actually. It's like how it wasn't just the shadow yet to like line up the shadow on the boxes and it cut out like the wall, bits of the wall shadow to make the shape, that, that was pretty awesome. So now we can go through here. Dillion doesn't know who killed him, but we do. Okay good, I thought we like stuck. Where are you taking So he's up the stairs. There's a way. And is this a different There is a way up there. One. She can do it. You're nearly there. She find 
So the way it works is that some of them are in Look one dimension, the other ones in the other. Of mistletoe, and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Huth is slain. Okay, this room looks pretty elaborate right now. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. How many got left? His Two. body was to be burned. Okay, this one's pretty short then. But they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. I'll go up here she first. She comes riding a wolf and has I'd vipers for her wings. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Okay, so I'll go down. Okay, look, we've got a bridge there. Can you see that? So. Nobody will love her now. Can you remember what love feels like? Look what happens to the things she loves. She destroys So it's daytime. Okay, another one. One left, that's good. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? Asks Helen. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods and send the other one. messengers everywhere. How the hell do weep we get for that? Baldur? Weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. That was weird. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let Hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giant... Okay, so that way we've opened it. Was it worth it? Now we have this door open. Do you know? Was it worth it? You're still alive and, and Dillian. It's in the daytime. Oh, does that have to be dead? How does that make you feel? So if we go around here and then push it down and then we'll go to the face and we make it daytime again. And then we should be able to just run back across that bridge and get to it. Yes, good. See, I'm getting hungry now. And this is a cool, this is the coolest symbol so far. The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps. I forgot to even, um... Scan it, because I saw one up there. There's one up there during the day. Years had passed since she left her father. Like up here, she I saw her that on... Alongside her um, friend. Did when I was about to walk down them stairs last time. She saw things no one else could. 
Okay, so there's Patterns. a... The arrow Shapes. is round here. Movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Okay, so it's down here. Friendship so turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past. And Dillian. Her future. Is that it? Two realities tearing at her soul. Just look up there, that's the one of them. Okay, so we may as well go and do that now. What's the other one? The other one is okay, we can't see it because it's daytime. Okay, maybe we have to go around the, the back of that, maybe? Let's see it? Alright, so we've got the S out of the way. What if this is pointless? What are you doing? So we have two left. Do you think you could make this work? You keep seeing runes. You see runes everywhere. Everywhere. What if they're not real? What if There's like the, the, the cross sense? thing like on the wall, gods but that lying. doesn't seem to be you think it makes the one they want. Really, the gods are playing with you. I was double checking that we have got. Yeah, we've got all the ones for this bit. So it means there's two on the next one. You can't read this language, you don't understand the outside. I'm after turning it back to um to the night time. You know the arrow is down there. Somewhere. So let's Change it. She thought she had light within the heart. She believed that she is pure darkness. So just run around and see if any letters pop up. While we're down here, let's try and find that arrow then. Cannot be undone. Is it maybe under here? Wanting fit through. Okay, is that kind of one? He was the okay, there we go. Here we go. He did love her. Um, that's gotta be it. Wait, how do I... where do I need you to stand? Remember him whispering in your ear? There? Do you remember the way about you wasted your time just delayed? Okay, so we do have one left. <laughs> and so far they've all been during the day. <laughs> so... Okay, so it's rumbling. Why is that wrong? Is that because I'm next to the mask? I'm gonna guess so. So let's have a, a run up here, and basically just hope that the letters turn up and kind of point me in the right direction. Right, keep going. We'll get this eventually. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the nighttime one because I can't really see anything around here. She should have listened to her father. Why didn't she listen to her father? She thought she could go. So is he still here? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So do with this viewpoint here. Tenuous. But I'll take it. Speed up. 
so now head back down and can open that door and I guess go along the bridge and uh, go and talk to Dillian. Or even if he runs away again, something should happen. I think that, I think that's going to be it since we've got all the um, the law stones for this section. Unless Hella's giant fat head comes and attacks us again, but. Dillion! Oh. So he wants us to follow him. <laughs> Be quick. Dillion never much cared for the underworld. And looked dimly upon the druids, like our father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father. A chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms. She had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly. The darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. So when she leans a certain way, you just have to kind of lean her back a bit, it's not that hard. Like that. She just kind of does it at random points as well, it's not like it really has anything to do with... He's in a Y pose, okay. Oh, he jumped! Different perspectives. Tower shard challenge. Okay. Shinoa. Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? But you give up the beautiful world. You, and only you, can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I love. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. What if this is pointless? What if you're wrong? What if this has nothing to do with the sword? What if we're wrong? The sword will never be yours. <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. Okay, so there you go. That was the Tower Shard uh, trial, challenge, whatever. Um, so that was part six. Hopefully you join me next time for part seven, uh, where we'll be doing another Shard trial segment thing. We'll find out what it is together again. Thanks for watching, see you guys next time, stay awesome, and see you next time, thanks a lot.